Cervelli. And I'm Pastor Carter. And we're from Seven Seas Ministries. And today we'd like to talk to you about the traditions of men. And we've written about this topic off and on over the years, but we wanted to kind of expound on it in a video today. So what do we mean when we say the traditions of men? Well, every single one of us is taught certain things. You know, depending on what church we attend or what denomination we fall under, if, it, if, you know, if any denomination at all. Um, and there's a lot of other factors that can kind of come into play when it comes to what we learn as a believer, what we're taught, what we believe, um, what we hold as truth. And, you know, we were talking yesterday, we like to take walks, and so while we take our walks, we do a lot of talking. <laughs> and we were talking yesterday about, about this, this topic, and we were discussing the things that we were taught when we were young believers, mm -hmm. and how as we began to grow and mature, and we began to spend time in God's Word, we found that some of the things that we were being taught didn't seem to line up real well with what God's Word said. We also found that there were things that were in God's Word that we weren't being taught. Mm -hmm. So that caused us to really dig deeper and, and mm -hmm. want to know what the truth was. Mm -hmm. You know, because we're hearing this, but yet we're reading this. So it's like, okay, God, you know, what's the deal here? Right. What's true? What's not? Why aren't we being taught these things that, that your word says are true? Mm -hmm. And why is it that some of the things that we're being taught aren't exactly the way your word shares them or shows us mm -hmm. how they're supposed to be? Right. Um, so, it's, you know, it's important that we don't just take man's word for, for anything mm -hmm. when it comes to what God's word says. You know, it, it's not uncommon for us as believers to follow a pastor or follow mm -hmm. a certain leadership. Uh, and it doesn't matter if it's a pastor in a church that we attend or if it's things that we see on TV or things that we see or read online. It's always, always, always important and critical that we back that up mm -hmm. with God's Word. Yes. Sometimes things will be said and God's Word will be used to back it up, but if what's being used is taken out of context, mm -hmm. it will also change the meaning of it. Right. So, you know, God has placed leaders out there, mm -hmm. and, you know, pastors are part of God's leadership as are evangelists and others. Mm -hmm. But sometimes as human beings, we can get off. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no perfect pastor. Mm -hmm. There's no perfect evangelist. There's no perfect teacher. So it's, it's up to us as God's children to not just take people's word for things and not just do things because we have been told that's the way it's to be done or do it because that's what we saw other people do. You know, this, this whole thing, it's really, it sounds kind of small, but when you look at it, it can get bigger and bigger mm -hmm. and bigger. And, you know, even the things that we, that we practice on a daily basis as a believer, it's good that we take the time to question those things. Mm -hmm. You know, if we do something out of habit, sometimes we just need to stop and say, oh, why did, why did I just do that? Mm -hmm. You know, yes. and it can be anything. It can be the things that we do as part of a church service. It can be the things that we do as part of our daily routine. Yes. It can be the things that we do as part of our walk with God. We, we have to question why we do those things. Mm -hmm. And it's not that we're looking to you know, discredit anybody or throw stones or anything yeah. like that. But if we want the truth, then we need to seek the truth. Right. I think that we're, we are looked at, or sometimes um, the way that we were made, we're like creatures of habit. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we have to be careful we that we don't do that with God and mm. what He's asking right. of us to do. That we don't, yeah. it doesn't become a habit. Yeah. You know, the things of God, they should be inspired. Right. You know, it should be moving and alive. Exactly. Not alive. something that's yeah. habitual. You know, right. we're constantly doing mm -hmm. it. And now we feel like if we don't do this today, <gasps> what's going to happen to yeah. us? You know, right. to, to stay alive and let the Spirit of God move in us yeah. and to do things from His Spirit, not right. from 
a habit right. or a routine mm -hmm. or a ritual yeah. or whatnot. Make sure what we're doing is alive exactly. and what he wants us to be doing. Yeah. You know, yeah. a lot of times one of the other things I was thinking when we were talking is that, you know, sometimes we are following a minister or a pastor or mm -hmm. a leader or a priest or whatnot because we like their personality. Right. So we disregard what they're teaching because we like them as right. a person. Yeah, that's true. But we need to pay attention to what God is saying to us. Mm -hmm. Not that we should leave that person or that teacher or whatnot, but to but if God is showing us something and, and he's 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 having us look at something mm -hmm. more closely, right. we should be able to go to that person and say, mm -hmm. Look, you know, I feel like God is showing me this yeah. and you know, I don't understand it. Right. Um, and you know, maybe it's being taught a certain way and maybe there's room for correction there. Yeah. You know, we need to be willing and aware mm -hmm. and uh, able to be taught ourselves as ministers. Right. You know, if right. God is showing somebody in the congregation something that maybe we need to hear mm -hmm. because maybe we're busy doing this or busy doing that. Right. And like you said, sometimes you get off on the wrong track mm -hmm. and you can get put a, it can become, you know, hard sometimes to hear and listen mm -hmm. and pray all the time. Right. You know, but that's why we're a body. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why we come together. We should be able to help each other at right. times of right. need. Whether it's the pastor helping the congregation or sometimes the congregation helping the pastor. Mm -hmm. You know, God will speak to the congregation if the right. pastor is not listening. <laughs> right. Yeah. And, and <laughs> you, you know, know, that's a difficult situation because as a pastor, you you kind of like to think, you know, you've, you've got it all together. Right. But, You're the leader. You know, we're, we're human <laughs> beings. And sometimes there's something, and it's not necessarily a case of, of intentionally teaching something that's wrong, but sometimes we can miss something, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so we all need to be open to hearing things that we need to hear. That's right. And open to not necessarily correction, mm -hmm. but at least uh, being willing to hear people out mm -hmm. and then check it out for ourselves, you know? And, and so it, it's a really, it's kind of a fine line Mm -hmm. that has to be walked because if a pastor isn't careful, everybody in the congregation will be correcting them constantly right, right. and get them off track because everybody has their own opinions on things. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when it comes down to the person is saying this, but the Word of God says this, well, the Word of God always stands. overrules That's and stands right. because right. the Word of God is God's truth. Mm -hmm. So even little things that that we might do, you know, even, even as part of a church service, mm -hmm. sometimes I like to, I like to, I've always kind of tried to prompt people to say, why did I just do that? Mm -hmm. So, you know, we do this every week. Well, why, mm -hmm. why do we do this every week? Mm -hmm. And then not just in a church service, but even as just an individual, mm -hmm. a, a child of God. Mm -hmm. So if there's something that you do on a regular basis. Why? Mm -hmm. You know, we need to question why we do something. Do we do it just because that's what we've seen others do, right. or that's what we've been taught, mm -hmm. or that's what we've done for the last ten or fifteen or twenty years? Right. Why do we do it? And let the and let the scripture answer. Exactly. If the scripture can give you an answer to mm -hmm. why you're doing that. Then keep doing it. You right. know, it's, yeah. it's good. But yeah. if, if there's nothing in the Bible that says you're doing what you're doing, exactly. why you're doing it, then you, you really need to, mm -hmm. to, you know, take a good look at it. Right. And try yeah. to put the pieces together. Why? And mm -hmm. if it's not there, right. then maybe you need to take a good look at it and change mm -hmm. things up a little yeah. bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and sometimes we'll do it like, you know, we'll just follow a pattern that we've seen for so many years. Mm -hmm. And maybe there's no scripture to back it up. Maybe there's no scripture to discount it. Mm -hmm. But we need to rely on the Holy Spirit to, to prompt us mm -hmm. and say, well, I never told you to do that. You're just doing it because that's what you've always yes. done. Mm -hmm. So even though there might not be a specific scripture that says don't do that, mm -hmm. if the Holy Spirit is, is convicting us that maybe we're doing it just out of habit or routine mm -hmm. or tradition, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's it might be time to take a look at those things. So yes. just, just a little something today to kind of, you know, maybe rattle our cage a little yes. bit, shake us, get make us sure we're awake. Yeah, <laughs> and get us to take a look at why we do the things that we do. Mm -hmm. And, you know, not not to completely tear down anybody's doctrine or anything, but just to make sure that 
like you were saying, mm -hmm. everything we do has to be alive. Yes. If we're doing it robotically, strictly out of mm -hmm. habit or routine mm -hmm. or tradition or ritual or whatever, then there's no life in no, it. No, it's going to get stale. We're going to get stale mm -hmm. and we're going to lose our interest. Right, exactly. You know, it has to be alive and it has to be mm -hmm. moving. Right. That's when you know God's spirit's in it. Exactly. Amen. 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 So that's, you know, that's what we had to say for today to make sure that we stay on our toes, on the edge with God, alive with God, and, and you know, building that relationship with Him and not just going through the motions. That's right. So, <laughs> Father, we thank you for this, you, for this Lord. word, Lord God. Yes. We thank you that you are alive. Yes, you We are. thank you that your word is alive. Yes. Father God, we don't yes. have to rely on yes. habits, That's right. routines, That's right. Traditions, right. rituals, yes. or things that we've just been shown or taught over the years, Father yes. God. We don't have to rely on those things because you are alive. Yes, you are. You are forever alive. Yes, you are. And so we want to follow you in the fullness yes. of that life that you give. Father God, you did not send Jesus to die on the cross to give us rituals and routines. Lord God, we thank you. Thank that you. Jesus died for us yes. to give us life, yes, to make us alive. You have yes. quickened our spirit. Yes, and so let us live like we're alive. Let us worship you like we are alive. Let us walk with you like you are alive and that we are alive in you. And we thank you, Father, thank even you. for your hand yes. of correction, yes. your word of truth that yes. brings guidance, that brings mm. adjustments. Yes. Father, help us to receive yes. whatever it is that you have for us. If we need to make adjustments, help us to make them. Yes. Father, help us to see and divide truth yes. from untruth, yes. habit and routine from what your word says, and help us to rightly divide those things with your word. Yes. We thank you, Father. We praise thank you. We give you honor, oh, yes. and we give you glory in yes. everything that we say and that yes. we do. And we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So you guys enjoy the rest of yes. the day. Keep your relationship with God real. Keep yes. it alive. Mm -hmm. Keep it fluid so yes. it's not static. Yes. It's not getting stagnant mm -hmm. and old and dead and dried up and, and boring. Yes, that's Because right. God is not a boring God. <laughs> no, <Amen>? he's not. <laughs> so that's it for now. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. And until the next video, you take care, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.